I went onto eBay and I bought this which has come in a small parcel costing £3 uh, just in case you're wondering that was my address and it's come carded and not bent now I got this from Planet Fiction which sell on eBay they are a comic shop and as I said I was trying to find another way of getting some mixture of different comics for a cheaper price than buying any other mystery pack which could cost you £20 for 10 comics. We are looking for a lower price for you to get mystery comics at and this is the company which I found that were doing these comics. This is 15 comics and as I said these comics Planet Fiction and I got these solely because of the price for the pack get rid of the cardboard they've come in three different little wrapping packs each one has five comics in or should have so they just pick up a pack of five you can from the company buy different numbers I went for the 15 just solely on its price because it is fairly cheap I'll put the price down below or here and then there's the postage postage is the same amount whether you buy a small number or a higher number so let's see what we have we have three packs so I'll start with the first pack of course you'll see the front and back that you'll see what you've got at least for those two but I was thinking that you could use this company to buy these 15 comics at that price every month I had a word with them they said that the likelihood of having the same comic in each of these packs is remote so they do have a nice feel to them feel nice and look clean there's not a mark on this one well as I say I'm probably not likely to know any of these comics or very few of them whether they're good or bad but they do give you an option of getting a variation and seeing something new without having the massive expense of being able to do that by going to one of those £20 a month get 10 comics so once again we'll look at the fight one I'll open up and show you the style and this is a Dark Horse comic and it was 3 99 when it came out and this is number seven so yeah nice clean my second one has a more matte front effect and this was 3 99 us And I will take it that this is about UFOs, so it may be more nearer to Area 51. And that's what the graphics look like in it. So this one was number six. We have another one. And that's the style of that one. So, 
and this one might have been number one I can't see any number well, that's the 17th of September 2017 so yes you will get older comics in it but then how old do you want to go you could get some really 1930s 1940s comics and would that make any difference to you if you're wanting to find something different to look at seems to be another space type one three ninety nine and dollars two or four which is always the downside to these is that you might end up liking a set and then not be able to get any more of the set but there you go so far four comics really nice quality no tears no damage i did ask them they said that there wouldn't be any of that and the one that we had on one of the back ones this is number one has a slightly different uh, art style like two color sets rather than a mix but that's the first first five and as we say we look at the total cost with the postage and you, this is how much it is per comic so you can't say that's expensive and even if you don't like what you get then you aren't investing a lot of money you're not putting two and three pound into getting a comic which you may not like to start with so once again really nice quality now these are more for reading rather than for keeping for increase in value so yep about rabbits well something different um, I think we're back into the maybe space or at least the future with this one this is issue two And even if I look at who drew it or who wrote it, unless they are really big names and we've seen them somewhere, I won't know who they are. <laughs> okay. We know this one. Well, we know this one because it's actually based on a small game. And people play on their phone or tablet. So, more funnier. But what adventures can little green things that look like peas have? But, yes. Do we care what's in here? Not really. We're just looking for something different. We we'll just want to open our horizon to things that we may not see. We all know the very, very big franchises that have comics out you know x-men or any other superhero type ones but if you're wanting to find something a little bit off the wall different styles because this one on this page there is only it's more graphical there's only words on this picture here the rest of it are just pictures Oh, there's, there's a well on this one. But there's not big piles of reading on, on them. So, that page was uh, more unusual. So, we do have a superhero. Now, this, was a tele this is a television show, I think. Uh, 
And it's got an advert on the back for... Part two of three. And I think this might have been from 2015. We have a 2015 date down the bottom here. Oh my god, an advert for Back to the Future one. That might be cool. Yeah. So, that was that five. And as I said, I found this pack of 15 to be less price per comic than buying the pack of 50 or the pack of 25, which I found much stranger. Because you would expect if you bought 50 that the comic price would be lower and actually it was dearer for the 25 and the 50 so I bought the 15. Now the thing comes is that looking at these it doesn't say that in a month's time I won't get another pack because well Ghost Rider we know him from films of course it doesn't say that the style or how the Ghost Rider looks in this will match the one from the films you see nice colourful action and this says it's number one and yep Suicide Squad so you're not all just going to get ones you don't know but ones that you will you know there's a film on the Suicide Squad so Trying to see if it has a date on it. April 2017. So you could say that they come from 2017, so they're not the up-to-date ones, but then you're not paying two and three pound for them. And back in 2017, don't know how much the comic was really, we know what the US price is, but we don't know what the UK price was for these. But it doesn't matter, does it? The idea is to find a cheaper price. The idea is that if you want to look at comics and find different things, then you open up. Oh, it's even got Lucifer advert for it. And that was cancelled off Fox, wasn't it? I think it's gone to Netflix, is it? Something like that. I don't watch it, so I just think. I, I know it's gone to a different company now for, for another season. So we have that one. Two more left. And we have this one now even if you don't like some of these comics they do have some nice cool start and pages for them you know and this one was three dollars ninety nine So, last one. Out of the 15 comics that I got, which means that looking at the price if I'd bought the 10 at the 20 from the mystery box, I could get two packs of this, so I have 30 comics instead of 10 comics. Much higher chance that you will find something that you like. So, final comic. And I didn't know that was going to be the final comic. So Justice League, yes, we've heard of it. It's been going for quite a while. So 
so we know more of the style that that's going to follow. Of course it has adverts for other superhero ones in. But, and again, the last five. So, overall, what do we think? Well, price-wise, really good. I do much prefer to get them at that lower price point because if you don't know them or you don't like them, it's not something that you would really buy, then you haven't put too much money into it. So therefore you could give them away to other people. It's not that much. Other thing comes is that I do find it a bit weird that the 15 is cheaper than per comic than the 25 or the 50. I would have thought it would have been much closer that the more you bought the cheaper it would be. Even if it is a fraction of a penny cheaper, you know, you would have thought that the 50 would have been a cheaper price. And I'll put up now this is the 25 price if they are still got them on the thing okay and this is the 50 price now all of them include postage so hopefully I found them so I could put them up for you and they came from Planet Fiction which is on eBay they sell a whole load of comics so they are a fully fledged comic shop really so there you go, rather than buying off a person, we found a shop which will give you a good price if you don't have any shops nearby that will sell you comics at 25p or 50 pence each. Here is an option, you don't know what you get in, so if you're looking for that mystery factor, then you have that right here at a much cheaper price than going to these big comic mystery packs. So, hopefully you like this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Hit the bell for your notification and let's wait and see if we get any more from here. I probably think, probably when I come back after the summer holidays, because by the time you see this, it's probably already happened. But I need to get back off that and then we'll see about getting more most likely. So stay tuned. Bye for now.